Hey everyone, today I'm gonna try to color get raw video footage of a beginner level camera Sony A6000. Maybe you have a lot of shots and they are completely different. So we have to completely balance them before color getting any videos. Because color correction is a balance, make the video look normal. And on the other hand, color getting is a look or an emotion by adding unnatural colors and effects. Before balancing the footage, we have to enable Lumity color and Lumity scopes. So let's go there to the window and select Lumity color. Inside Lumity color tab, there are a few options for color correction and color getting. Next, we can activate Lumity scopes that can monitor color information. An easy way to balance the footage is using the compare. Select the footage first, then go to the color wheels and match, and then click on the comparison view. On the right is our current image, on the left is our reference image. You have the options to change the reference image by moving the indicator. There are three options but I always prefer side by side. And finally it is time to click on the apply match. Let's see the changes. Click on the comparison view once again to go back to the regular view. We need an adjustment layer as we are gonna color correct and color get both clips. So let's go there in the project and right click here to choose an adjustment layer. Accept the default settings and hit OK. Place the adjustment layer on the top of the two video clips. Expand the basic correction in the Lumetic color and then go to the light. This is the first step of color correction. Light is linked away from Luma, when you change anything there you can notice the changes. Lumity scopes can help you measure and monitor contrast, brightness, saturation during the color getting. Without measurement of Lumity scopes, it is not easy to color correction. So I highly recommend you to watch this tutorial of Lumity scopes, I put the link in the description of this video. Now I'll increase the contrast, you can also increase it to more than 100 if needed. I wanna lower the exposure slightly. Depending on the image, we can decrease the blacks to negative 24. Changing you can notice on the bottom of the waveform Luma. We can also increase the whites but not too much. 98 IRE is standard for brightness. Shadow adjusts the dark areas of the image. I'll increase it a little bit. You can see middle part of the waveform Luma and padded RGB. White balance is another essential part of color correction. We can take the dauber tool and mark the white area of the image to set the white balance automatically. You can also adjust the white balance by increasing or decreasing the temperature and tint. You can do this by looking at the vector scopes to see where the colors are leaning towards. In this part of the tutorial, we can increase the saturation slightly. The saturation intensifies all the colors in the video. Next, go to the creative. Here we are gonna increase the vibrance. Vibrance is quite different from saturation. By increasing vibrance, we can intensify the muted colors in the video. So this is the actual difference between vibrance and saturation. Now move to the curves. You can curve it like S, which affects the highlights and the shadows. From the hue versus saturation, you can intensify any specific colors. For example, I'm taking the dropper tool to mark the color and increase the color. Looking at the vector scope, the color green is leaning toward the green box. At this moment, I'm moving the time indicator to the another image to select the another color. To make the color choice easy, we can change the zoom level of the frame. Next, take the dropper tool and pick the color to intensify the selected color. Let's see the before and after by turning off and on the Lumity color. So this is a basic color grading tutorial in Premiere Pro. Color correction and color grading are a little bit complicated thing to me. I'm learning to improve it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next video.